Our next installment in Essential Skills for Woodworking is measuring and marking. Now, I'm gonna go through the things I keep in my vest as well as the things I use on a regular basis and why I have them. Um, there's lots of stuff here on the table, but I'll, I'll kind of talk about the essentials and, and what they really do for making a difference in your woodworking. Uh, so let's come into the bench here and I'll show you what I use. Okay, when it comes to measuring and marking, there's lots of things you can use, but I think if I had to pick my absolute essential, essential things that would be in my vest, it would be a combination square, a marking knife, and a tape measure. If you watch my essential skills for superior accuracy in woodworking, I talk a lot about how to mark and measure accurately, but I think it's really important to have the right tools available to you. So um, I use pencils, but I only use pencils if it's rough dimension. Um, if it's something where I need an exact measurement, I'm gonna use a marking knife. One of the things I find that are essential in a marking knife is the thinness of them. Uh, the thinner they are, the easier it is to get into places that are hard to reach. This is my favorite marking knife. This is an Eric's marking knife. This is one that somebody custom made for me. I think he no longer has an Etsy shop, but uh, both of these are incredibly thin, which allows you to get into really hard to reach areas. Um, I use this Festool tape uh, for a couple reasons. One, it has millimeters and inches on it, so I can get pretty accurate with it, but uh, again, you know, a tape measure is used for kind of dimensioning wood, but when you get really accurate, uh, you're going to want to measure the actual dimensions of mating pieces and then mark it off with a marking knife. So when I do that, a tri-square is absolutely great for that because you can get exact measurements by flushing it up with the opposite side and then you can use that to mark out other areas. One of the great things about a tri-square is that it comes with its own scribe. So if you can't find your marking knife or you just need to do something really quickly, you can pull the scribe out of a tri-square. These come in several different sizes. I always keep the six inch in my vest and then a 12 inch I keep on the wall for bigger projects. But when it comes to squares, another important thing is an engineer's square. These are ultra accurate and they're great for setting tools because they're flat and they can sit flat on your table saw or your band saw and you can bring it right up to the blade and figure out whether your blade is square. Um, I also use this a lot for dovetails because it's so hefty and small that it's really easy to hold when you need to mark out a square line like on your, uh, on your tails. So I keep this on the wall, but these are the two that I keep in my vest. And I love this Veritas square. Everything will be linked down in the description, but I love this Veritas square for joinery. Uh, it's great because it doesn't have a lip on it, so you can put it anywhere on your workpiece and mark out square lines. Um, I, I, this is something I actually found out about from the Samurai Carpenter, and he said he uses it all the time, and I didn't believe him because I had these other squares that I liked, but then I got this thing, and this is just brilliant. It really makes joinery great, and it makes it really easy to get in, uh, like when you're on top of a piece marking out a mortise. Um, it really helps you make sure everything's square to your work edge, and that you can put this anywhere and, and do any degree line. Something I use sometimes, not that often uh, is this Incra square and it's great because it's really accurate and you can put your pencil in any one of these holes or lines and so when I need kind of something that doesn't have to be based on another mating workpiece so if I'm just marking out a mortise for example uh, I can use this squared up against an edge and get exact dimensions of where I want it with a pencil and then come back with a marking knife and mark that out. Uh, this of course sits on my wall and I, I probably use it a couple times a month. It's one of those things that's that's great if you're a pencil user and it's great sometimes when you need to get accurate measurements uh, at the start of a project, but it's not essential by any means. Um, another great tool for making sure your blades are square is these one, two, three blocks. They have threaded holes for quarter 20 bolts. You can attach all kinds of jigs to these, but I keep uh, one of these by my bandsaw and one by my table saw so I can just set it down measure exactly if the blade's square. The reason it's called a one, two, three block is it's one inch this way, 
two inches this way and three inches this way. So if you need to get basic measurements like that, you can also use this to mark stuff out. But they come machined, very, very square, and they're great for uh, setting saw blades with. Another tool that I use, uh, these stay on my wall, they don't sit in my vest. I use these a lot for dovetails, dividers. These are great for scribing out circles, uh, as well as finding a measurement that you don't know the dimension of, but you need to transfer to another location. So if you had a tenon, for example, you could set this to the width of your tenon and then take that somewhere else and scratch out a mortise. Um, they're also great as a marking gauge in a pinch. Uh, you can set them to a certain distance and drag them along an edge and you'll get a scribe line. Um, speaking of marking gauges, uh, there's a couple different kinds. This is my favorite. It's about 25 bucks. Uh, it has a micro adjust feature. So you can loosen this knob here, tighten this one, and you can spin the wheel and it will micro adjust your marking gauge. So you can see that distance changes there. Um, but this is a tool I use very regularly. It's great for uh, marking out tenons. It's great for dovetails. Uh, it's great for anything where you need to scribe a very long line over a certain distance on a board. So you can just run it along the edge. Again, a perfect line, a distance from that edge. The other types of marking gauges um, are mortising gauges. Both of these have a mortising feature. This is actually a really cool old Stanley number 98 that uh, I got on eBay. Um, and it has both wheel cutters and scratch cutters. And the difference for me is scratch cutters I only use across the grain because they have a tendency to get stuck in the grain because it's a sharp point. It sometimes likes to ride in the grain and sometimes will push your reference edge away from the face of your board. Um, but a mortising gauge, you can set two different distances so you can repeat mortises a certain distance away from an edge. Uh, same with this, you can get different distances. And what's great about this style is you can mark out one at a time. So if you're not doing a mortise and you just have two different distances you're trying to keep track of, you could hold it this way and mark, and then this way and mark, and it works great. Um, but if I had to choose only one, it would be this one with the micro adjust feature. This thing just works great. Another thing I use every day when I'm woodworking is calipers. And they are really great for taking a known distance and transferring it somewhere else. You don't need them to be digital. A lot of times when I'm using these, I'm just using it to transfer measurements. So let's say I wanted to cut a matching board this width. I could just take my calipers, set them to that distance, lock them in, and then I can take that over to my table saw and put, these, put this on my fence and this on the tooth of my blade. Again, watch that essential skills in woodworking uh, for accuracy video. And I can get that exact distance between my blade and my fence. Another thing they're great for is measuring height. So if you have a board and you wanna measure the height, you can take your calipers and set your board down on a flat reference surface and go like that. And you could go set your router bit height on your router table or your table saw blade uh, for cutting out, you know, uh, lap joints, that kind of thing. Uh, so calipers are something I use on a very, very regular basis and you can get them very expensive. These are, bo are both very expensive ones, but they, you can also get them really cheap and they're accurate. I would just read the reviews on Amazon uh, and make sure that what you're buying is accurate and is going to remain accurate over time. I use this in my humidor build, which is a really great video. You should go watch that. Uh, it's kind of long, but it's a really, really fun build. Is I'll take two pieces of wood and some spring clamps and you can take them and set them in for inside dimension and spread them and just lock them in with your spring clamps. And then you can take that over to your table saw, put it between the fence and your blade, and you can get that exact distance. Another thing that pretty much every woodworker, including myself, uses on a regular basis is pencils, pens, that kind of thing, and a notebook. I like to carry these field notes, notebooks, in my vest because it's great for taking notes and measurements, that kind of thing. Uh, this was actually one from Chris Salamone at Four Eyes, uh, so I love this one. But uh, when it comes to pencils, here's my thoughts. I use carpenter pencils for very rough dimensioning when I first get my lumber. And then for getting it close, I'll use these pencils. And then when I need to be more accurate, I use 0.7 and 0.5 millimeter pencils. 0.7 is great because it doesn't break as often. 0.5 is great because it's thinner. Another thing I use a lot is a Sharpie on hard to see 
pieces of wood or metal. Uh, I'll use a Sharpie to mark it out if I'm still gonna plane it down uh, when I'm doing rough stuff. But these are the tools that I use on a regular basis. And as far as what's in my vest, it's this tape measure. Uh, this tape measure is great. It's kind of expensive. Obviously it's a festival, but uh, it's got a circle cutting gauge. So you can put this spike in the piece and put your pencil in that hole. Uh, it also does inside measurements. So if you put this in the inside, the back of the tape measure will read right here. It's not as accurate as some of the other ways I talked about, but it does work pretty well. So these are the things that I keep in my vest every single day, which is pencils, pens, a tape measure, my joinery square, and my combination square. Those things are in my vest every day, but everything else I talked about, I use on a very regular basis. It can be very beneficial. But if you are starting woodworking and you can only get one group of things, it's gonna be a pencil, a marking knife, a tape measure, and a tri-square. Those are just mandatory to have, and they will really change the way you do woodworking. Um, so, thanks for watching, guys. Let me know down in the comments what other types of videos you would like to see uh, in this Essential Skills series and stay safe in the shop and have a wonderful day.